Hi guys, it's me again Maria and in this short video tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how you can uh, get an images or pictures uh, to your storybook using Canva. One of my subscribers asking me how you get these pictures or images for your storybook. So in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how you can get your images and pictures for your storybook inside of Canva. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into my computer. Alright guys, so now we are on ChatGPT and we're going to ask again the ChatGPT to give us at least 10 suggested children's book story. It's all up to you. If you want a 5, 10, 15, it's all up to you. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna write here, uh, write 10, at least, at least 10 um, suggested uh, children's book stories. Okay, I just want to show you guys how you can create an image for your book uh, that uh, ChatGPT uh, gave to you. Okay, so all right, so I'm gonna uh, click the uh, enter and you will see here are the 10 uh, children's book story that ChatGPT uh, suggested. Okay, so I'm gonna choose the magical garden okay so for example I'm gonna choose the magical garden okay I'm gonna copy this one the magical garden okay copy the one and go back to this message okay so I'm gonna ask again ChatGPT to write a story about the and then I'm going to paste here the title of the story about the magical garden and Okay, well, you can also ask ChatGPT to write that story in like um, 500 words, thousands words. So it depends on how, how long that you want your book, you know, to make. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Let's see how long it's going to give us. Okay, so now here is the story of the magical garden. All right, so it's not really... A long story so maybe I can just for the sake of this tutorial I just want to show you guys how you can get an image or you how you can design this story uh, given by ChatGPT using Canva okay so I'm gonna take this one the enchanted garden once upon a time in a small village so here this is my first uh, paragraph or page of the book so once upon a time in a small village so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to copy this one copy and let's go to Canva okay so now we are in Canva and here we're going to create a design but first of all we need to uh, customize the book that you want to uh, create of course you have to create the size of the book okay so I'm going to create a book which is the uh, let's say okay make sure that it is in inches all right and I'm going to uh, go to my file and see the book that I, the size of the book that I want to make Alright, so here is the size of the book. So what are we going to do here is we're going to get this one 8.5 by 11. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, the size of the book. So we're going to uh, put 8.5 by 11. So let's go back to Canva and let's say, uh, let's type here 8.5. Okay, 8.5. Okay, by 11 and let's create a design all right so here is the size of the book that we're going to use in this tutorial okay so it is 8.5 by 11 so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm not gonna make uh, the book cover in this I'm just gonna show you guys how you can create an interior uh, design and images for the story that you uh, get from ChatGPT all right, and then I'm going to paste the one, the, the, the first paragraph that we got from ChatGPT. Okay, like for example, uh, this is just my guide. Okay, guys, I'm not going to use this. 
uh, in this. I'm just gonna put this one here so I can read and get an image into this uh, paragraph. So once upon a time in a small village, I'll say, okay, so now it's a small village. So we're going to create a small village here on this uh, on the next page so what we're gonna do here is guys is here on your left side which there's so many icons here you um, click the elements and let's say small village okay write the keyword small village all right there you go just click this one and it will show uh, a lot of images here or we say just villages so you can just uh, choose uh, any any image here that you want to all right so let's get this one but I'm gonna put this one here on this uh, page so that you can see how okay you can you can uh, just drag this one guys uh, so that it will fit into all of the uh, you know the page of your book just like that before we put this one into this uh, this book I'm going to copy this one again and I'm going to kill bold because I want to uh, you know to change some of this uh, phrases here that ChatGPT gave us and check our plagiarism as always guys <laughs> alright so let's go to kill bold and here I'm going to paste the one that we got from ChatGPT. And there you go. So I want to paraphrase this one. Just click this one and it will give you the uh, new phrase for this uh, story. Okay, so now I'm gonna copy this one, guys. Okay, so we're going to this uh, plagiarism tool for free. It's free, guys. So what you're gonna do is just to, you know, um, click this one and see if your uh, phrase is plagiarized or not we're gonna need to test that one okay so now here are the plagiarism checker so what we're gonna do here is we're going to paste the one that we get from cute ball okay so now once you paste it on we're going to click, click this one to scan for plagiarism all right there you go so once upon a time in a small village you know blah 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 then you will see your text is free of writing issues so no plagiarism found as you see it was checked here spelling is okay conciseness word choice grammar punctuation readability and additional writing issues issues so if you want to uh get the grammarly it's free then go ahead guys so you can use it for your uh, plagiarism checker what you're gonna do is just to paste here and scan for plagiarism so this is okay so I'm gonna uh, copy this one copy and let's go back to Canva all right so now we're back in Canva and now I'm going to paste the the phrase or the paragraph that we did there so there you go so here it is we're going to put this a little bit here on the top it's all up to you guys where you want to put this you can put this here or you can put here at the bottom so it's all up to you so I'm gonna put here on the top here is the first page of our book Right, so you can always change guys the image that you want all you're gonna do is just to click this one so you can see all of the images uh, that you want here there you go you can uh, click this one and you can always choose uh, it takes time guys but for the sake of this tutorial I just want to let you know and see where you can find those images for your book which is here so maybe I can use this one or the one that has some, uh, you know, people in the village, maybe. Uh, hold on, let's go back to my, here is the magic recommendation. So maybe, uh, what about this one? Oh yeah, I can use this one. So I can just uh, replace this one to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to drag this one over here and let's see or you can do like this guys if you want to just like that 
yes you can design like that on top is the uh the you know the story that you want to read for. okay you can always make this a little bit shorter if you want to guys but just go here and just uh uh resize it if if this is too big for you then you can always resize it just like that make sure that it is in the middle so there you go you can also change the color of the background here or here you can change the color that you want you know to make it a little bit colorful you know when you're reading books for kids you know it's better to be a, a little bit colorful so it's all up to you guys depends on your uh, color favorite color so let's say i'm just gonna get this pink maybe blue things like that oh i think blue is fine all right so here you can also adjust the spacing if it is too you know for each other then you can adjust this one align spacing you know things like that so it's easy for you guys to read all right and there you go so if this blue is too maybe you can choose i am gonna change the pink all right there you go so it's a magic so you can create like this so this is the first paragraph for your storybook or, or you if you want you i have another tutorial on where you can separate this one on the on the back page and this one on the on the first page so there's no uh you know mm, phrases here that you want to read too so just just the images of for this page but for this i just want to show you guys that you can create a lot of images using canva based on your story so uh the the process is the first you go to chat gpt as a suggested story choose the story that you want go to kill ball paraphrase it and go to plagiarism to take to uh to get check or uh you know to test if there's plagiarism so you don't get in trouble and once you finish with that copy and paste go to canva and read the phrase that you want and you can find there in canva just to type what you are looking for here on the search so that the graphics uh or the the image that you want for your book will pop up here as you see so you can uh, choose which uh images that you want all right, so now once you finish with that, then go back again to chat GPT and copy again the next paragraph. Go back to Kiltbolt, plagiarize tool, and then go back to uh, Canva. And here on the elements, you can always find the images that you want for your book. Okay, let's say you want some, uh, you're, you're talking about or you're creating a book about twinkle twinkle little stars or stars in the night things like that just go here and just write about stars in the night all right so click this one and you will see a lot of you know uh images here night sky right that you know, moon and stars like that oh let's say for um kids storybook So if you're looking, if you're making for a storybook for kids, then you can use this, some kind of, uh, uh, you know, this kind of, okay, I'm going to put this on here so you can see. Okay. You can uh, just stretch this one out and then, uh, you know, put this in the middle. And then if you are, ha ha if you already have the phrase or paragraph that you want for this then just copy and paste and paste it here or you can still add more if you want to you can always make create a design here on the images that you want to create for your book so it all depends on the story that you wanted to create all you have to do is just to type what you are looking here on the search bar right so if you are making uh like what i did before i made a uh, what they call this a dinosaur book for kids so i just write here dinosaurs you know and then click the dinosaurs and then you will see here the dinosaur so like for example um let, let's say okay i'm gonna give you one more example let's say i get this one so i'm going to uh, i'm going to drag this one here so you know it's very scary right <laughs> so um here you can always uh this one scary dinosaur it's so scary okay and then
and then you can always uh, create a background for this or you can say uh, the part to ka. then if you want to look this dinosaur on the let's say the jungle okay let's say jungle so we can put the jungle background for this oh no sorry let's go to elements here elements and create a jungle or type the jungle and then now here are the jungle the jungle background that you want to use for this or if you're making a storybook for kids so you can uh, always choose this uh, kind of uh, you know, like this one I'm gonna put this layer this at the back I'm gonna set it at the back so you can see the dinosaur here I just going to you know stretch this one so I can get all of this and then I'm gonna make this one here and then this dinosaur just make a little bit like that right so now as you see there's a dinosaur here then you can create more dinosaurs just uh, a quick sample guys so if you want to uh, put some kids here that, because they look like scared so just go here and type uh, scared girl to or boy all right so here you can choose any image that you want uh, you look scared like this yeah you, maybe you can choose her you see the dinosaur and he wants to you know to run so i'm gonna play this one so it goes into the other side all right so i'm gonna flip this one just to click the cliff and yeah just like that and you can you know make her a little bit you know smaller bigger if you want so while uh, she's there in the garden, she saw a dinosaur and she was scared and she ran, you know, things like that, you know, guys, it's all on your imagination and your creativity. So you can always create like this. So it takes a lot of time, guys, but it's all up to you. Take your time to make your book more uh, interesting, you know, especially if you're creating a kid's book or a story, a children's book. So that's all you can do. Just create an image like this using ChatGPT, a kilt ball. Uh, don't forget to plagiarize it and you know check for plagiarism go back to Canva and Canva we're gonna help you which image that you want for your children's storybook like this alright so thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you like my tutorial if you have any questions don't forget to uh, just write down there in the comments and I will read your question as soon as possible and for those who are new to my channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe and click the notification bell by the way so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and to all my subscribers thank you thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you next time bye for now